we are talking shark attack in the Mediterranean, also known as shark alarm. But they are actually its English translations. because This is actually a German movie that stars Ralph Moller, who is kind of a... Uh, an actor who you would probably recognise if you have seen more than probably about 10 films. I would say he's probably the most known for Gladiator. But he's been in a whole bunch of stuff. He's good friends of Arnold Schwarzenegger. So this is a German shark movie uh, that is made to look like an American movie and is set in Mallorca. Yep, it's a bit of a weird one. And it's about a genetically engineered megalodon. Now... What we have is uh, Ralph Mueller's character is a pilot and he has lost his wife to a shark, uh, a big shark, uh, a couple of years previous to this. And there is a scientific research lab on this kind of uh, on this island in, in Mallorca. And um, we learn that they are they, st they are studying sharks in hopes of curing cancer. Um, as the movie progresses, we learn that there is actually a kind of a megalodon. Uh, now, Ralph Mueller's character wants to get revenge because he thinks this is the one that's killed his wife. But we have other people from the scientific community want to capture it to try and obviously harvest it for a way to cure cancer. Things like this. And we have a, a smattering of other characters as well. What will happen? Well, you just have to watch the movie to find out. I've been wanting to see this movie for a long time, but it was incredibly hard to get here in the UK. Uh, so I finally managed to see it. So, um, first of all, what do we think? Okay, so I have seen many a shark film, many a cheaper smart shark film. And I prefer ones that take the series, take it somewhat seriously. I'm not a huge fan of, you know, the mega shark and things like that. And mecha shark versus whatever it is. Two-headed shark attack, like those type of films. I'm not a big fan. I like, you know, genuine drama and things. So this movie is a weird mix of the two because it's it's, it's although it is a megalodon and it is a genetically enhanced megalodon, it still is you know, it's like although we have had megalodon films, it's not too outrageous because these things really existed. But it has this weird kind of jokey sense of humour where it's kind of one foot in the Sharknado camp and one foot in the kind of the Jaws camp. So it's an odd mix. Um, it makes it somewhat of an interesting film in, in some ways, this kind of jokey sense of humour, uh, where some scenes are taken relatively seriously, but others are kind of very tongue-in-cheek. But it's, it makes it for a somewhat uneven tone, but nonetheless, a somewhat of a unique flavour in some ways. Now, what did I like? The, the opening, strangely, is very, very similar to 47 Metres Down, where we have a shark cage where the cable snaps and the... And the, and the um, the cage sticks to the bottom of the floor. I thought, wow, this was 47 metres down before 47 metres down came out. And that's a, one of my favourite shark movies. Although that really is just an introduction to Ralph Mueller's character here, how, showing you how heroic he was. But nonetheless, I quite like the scene. Now, the, the effects are mainly CGI for, in regards to the shark. And the CGI is very mixed here. There are some sequences, and, and, and I would say certainly scenes where we see, like, the large fin coming out of the water and stuff like that, and the big swell of waves as it, as it sort of comes towards you, look very, very good um, at times. But we'll put a pin in that because there's a flip side to this to this, uh, <laughs> this thing. And also we see, like, this um, research lab, and they've got, like, great whites swimming around in these big, big, you know, these big screens and stuff like that. Some of the effects work here is quite good. Um, I actually quite like Ralph Mueller in, the, in this uh, in this role. He doesn't really ever do very much leading man roles. He's normally like the hench, bad guy henchman and things like that. Um, so it's quite fun kind of seeing him in that. And it's, it, it has a very an American feel to it. Um, and there's there's quite a lot going on. There's quite a, a few characters here. Uh, all her, they have his daughter. She has like a kind of like a rival kind of like bikini babe that she's kind of like feuding with. There's her love interest, her best friend. We've got Ralph Mueller's best friend who's like a policeman. We've got his love interest who is this kind of um, this scientist, her boss. There's loads of characters. And there's probably too many to be honest with you. Uh, but nonetheless, there it is. Um, there are some quite fun action sequences within the movie. Um, and I gotta say, I, I quite enjoyed the plot, even though it, it pretty much recycles elements of Jaws, 
47 metres down and, and kind of deeply see to away. It's kind of like a mishmash of those three uh, shark movies all in one, although this did come out before, um, as I say, 47 metres down. What doesn't work, going back to the effects, there are, although some sequences work, there are some really obvious CGI shark moments as well. Normally when you actually see, I would say, like the face of the shark, it looks really CGI. It kind of looks like a sci-fi movie sort of style. But it's odd, oh, it's such a diverse uh, quality, difference in quality of effects here. Um, it almost makes me feel like that some, shots, some shots were probably done and rendered before others, and then later shots weren't finished as well. Didn't have quite as much rendering. Because it looks like they can do good effects, they just haven't done it on certain sequences, which is odd. But it is what it is, they said that this is what's in the actual film. The acting here is way over the top. Um, everyone really, really overacts. Uh, and I'll make it our characters seem somewhat kind of jokey and can't really take it too seriously. There's also some really weird action sequences, like we have nothing to do with a shark. I mean, it's kind of like we have a couple of chase sequences and, and a few kind of stunts where, you know, the, the, obviously the production here has gone, and we, we're going to have this car jump over something and it's going to be a really cool action sequence, but now we've got a kind of right reason for it and things like that. And then we have, like, you know, just some odd comedy moments where Ralph Mueller's character keeps on bumping into this, like, playboy guy, things like this. It's just odd. Um, some of the editing is quite poor, I have to say, as well. There's some very kind of, like, abrasive cuts within within the, the film itself. Um, and like I've said, there are just, there's there's just too many characters here. And you, you know, like, for example, I was we have our kind of confrontation with the uh, the shark and, and the scientist and Ralph Mueller's there. But I forgot about the daughter. Oh yeah, that's that's also a pl a pr plot thread that uh, needs kind of like picking up as well. One of the, this does one of the things that I hate that low budget like sci-fi movie channel does, where it has a, a, a beeline storyline with human bad guys. To, to pad out the running time so they don't have to spend money on the special effects. It's a trope that you see the Asylum do quite a lot. You, you, you know, you're you going to watch a film, for, for in this case, a shark film, but what you're not really interested in is human bad guys, corporate, you know, goons who have got their own agenda or criminals, whatever it is in the story. It's, a, it's an old, tried and tested technique so they can pad out the running time, not have a huge amount of, you know, uh, effects, but obviously have enough story to kind of warrant having a, a feature length movie. So we see very little of our actual shark itself. But when we do see it, as I say, there's kind of, it's a little bit of a mixed bag in regards to the effects. Um, this certainly wasn't the worst shark movie I've, I've seen. Um, and I did quite, it had an element of fun to it, I would say, although it's, I don't know if I would quite class it as a spoofy one like the two-headed shark attacks, things like that, I would still put it into the more of the, uh, you know, somewhat serious films to even maybe like, you know, the, the uh, I don't know, Jersey Shore shark attack, things like that. It's kind of that level. Um, so I would give this one a four out of 10. It is a below average film, but it has some enjoyment value, I think, if you like. Low budget shark films. Have you seen it? Uh, if you have seen it, what did you think of it? Obviously, that I've given you the the English translation of the title where it's obviously a German film, and that is its primary title. But that is the uh, the English translation. Four out of ten. What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.